Okay, so now we'll, once we come in this like SAP Ariba system and we'll go to in the supplier management, management tab, so we will be able to see what type of supplier we have created. So in the previous session, we have created this supplier HP, HP Corporation. And if you want to see the supplier information, you will be able to see the view information. Uh, basically, we have to click on the view and from here, we have to click on the view supplier profile. So once we click on this view supplier profile, the system will deliver you the inside information about the supplier. So as of now, we can see whatever the supplier ID that is created in the SAP Ariba. This is called as the SM vendor ID as well. And apart from this, we can see the other information, what is like, you know, some summary information, like name of the supplier, what is the address of the supplier, and whatever the email address that basically we used, that something information will be available here. Apart from this, if you want to navigate to any other options as well, like if you, if you want to see contacts information, ERP data, that's something also we can see. But as the SLP process, we have to, next, we have to go in this registration stage. So now basically in the registration, what we have to do, we have to send this invitation to the supplier to create their account over the Ariba network. So there are two options like, you know, to perform the supplier registration. So in day-to-day -day activity, like whenever the business user, they will create supplier. So in that case, they have to perform the manual activity. So they will go manually here, like and here we can see, we have the option that is the invite, like invite button. So they have to basically click on the invite button to send this registration invitation. So let's see how basically like, you know, we have to perform this, like, you know, we have to initiate supplier registration. We'll talk about other approach as well in the coming session. So we have some other mass invite approach as well, but that's something is applicable in case of this mass supplier creation. And that part we will discuss during our configuration session. So now here we have to like as an individual, as a business user, we have to click on the invite. And once we click on the invite, that system will give you this screen. And in this screen, like if you see, we have two information. So one information is about like, you know, questionnaire. So Ariba is all providing this flexibility to customer. So if you want to send any questionnaire to the supplier during the supplier registration activity, that basically we can send. And why it is required, that's something also we'll discuss. And the downside we can see about the recipient information. So whatever recipient is here, like in case we have, we have added the multiple email address, so in that case as well, we have to choose the part, particular recipient, like who will receive this like notification and who will perform the supplier registration process. So we can see these two information here. So the one information is important for us, that is basically the confirmed questionnaire to send. Now, what is this questionnaire and why basically we have to send this questionnaire to the supplier? That's something we have to understand. So now if you see, so whatever the supplier information that we like you know, provided during supplier creation part, that means during supplier request, whatever the basic information we provided. So generally we, we have given the information about supplier name, supplier address, telephone number, phone number, fax number, commodity code, and the address information. Correct. So if you see this information, so this information is okay with the SAP Ariba because in SAP Ariba, there is no concept of this different data, data segment, like how it is here in the SAP MM. So in SAP MM, we have this different data segment like general data, purchasing data, company code data, right? But in case of the SAP Ariba, this different data segment information are not applicable. So in case, if you are going to integrate this SAP solutions with your backend SAP system, so when this information will go to your backend SAP system, so in our backend SAP system, as you know, we have to provide some different information as well. So apart from this, whatever information we have provided during supplier request, apart from this, we also have to provide some other information in the supplier. supplier. So might be we have to provide some, like, you know, the invoice, uh, sorry, account, uh, reconciliation account number, account group, or if you, uh, like, ignore this part, because this is something called as an internal information. But apart from this, if you see, we have the other information, like what is the tax, uh, tax ID of the supplier, what is the bank information about the supplier? Who is the CEO? What is the salesperson of the supplier? What is the salesperson contact number of the supplier? So these different information we have to provide in the backend SAP system, right? So if you require to collect this information as well from the supplier, so what basically we can do, we can configure the list of questionnaire here and we can send it to supplier. This is one thing. Apart from this, 
So what basically we are going to do? So we have created a supply record in our Ariba to perform our purchasing activity or whatever different subsequent activity we have to do. For example, if you want to perform purchasing activity, sourcing activity or whatever. So we also require some information as well. That means as a customer, we would like to know more about the supplier. So initially, whatever information we receive, that something is a basic information like uh, supplier address, supplier name, contact, email, that's it. But apart from this, as a customer, I would like to collect few more information about the supplier just to check about the supplier capabilities or we can say supplier eligibility. So basically, in any of this, like, you know, from customer point of view, whenever they are selecting any of the particular supplier, so they are checking the different, different things of the supplier, like how supplier is capable. So once we'll confirm the supplier, whether, like, you know, we're able to, supplier will be able to, like, you know, that, uh, to meet our requirement or not that's something different information like you know that we have to collect to supplier so how basically we can collect for that we have the option here that we can configure the list of questionnaire here so now basically we have the capabilities like we can configure the list of questionnaire here and that basically we have to send to supplier and supplier has to submit the responses towards the questionnaire so whatever questionnaire that basically you want to configure that will vary customer to customer so for example if you are the customer, you will have the different options and if other other customer, they have the different options. So whatever questionnaire that basically configured in this system, that questionnaire we can see. So we have to here, we can see we have the button of the preview. We have to click on the preview button and once you click on the preview, the system will deliver you the list of questionnaire. So in this case, we have only configured the basic level of the questionnaire, like what is the company name, vendor short name, DNS ID, vendor address, phone number, number of employees. This is something just dummy questionnaire, but generally in the production system, you will have the different different questionnaire. So the important thing is that whatever questionnaire we basically it is available here. So this is our job. We have to configure. It is not important like whatever questionnaire is available here. So important is that whatever questionnaire the customer they are requesting you to configure that basically they have to configure. So again, how to configure that is part that is the part of the configuration session. We will talk during the configuration, but. As a consultant, we should know this information is this option is available here. And based on the customer requirement, we can configure the different list of questionnaire here. So whatever different kind of information that a customer they want to collect from that information, we can basically collect from the supplier itself. Right. So now what basically we have to do? So from the business user point of view, we have to review this questionnaire and then we have to click on the send. So if you come here in the downside, we can see we have the send option. Thank you.